Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, your girl Brittany, and I am going to do a memory decks card with you guys today, and I am going to create it on my Cricut Design Space, and I am going to be using my Cricut Joy. With this tutorial, you can go ahead and utilize it on your regular Cricut, or even if you have the Silhouette Design, you can go ahead and do it there, but of course it'll be a little bit different. But um, first of all, we are going to do a truck design memory decks card so i'm going to i'm in my design space right now and i am going to go on to new project and then underneath you see these different icons here i'm going to go to upload and i'm going to select from photo library so i already found a truck design that i had got off of google and so you can just easily do like truck um, SVG or red truck or whatever thing that you're trying to look for and then I'm going to go ahead and click on it and here we're going to clean it up so right now in this upper corner right here is just showing black so we're going to clean it up so we can tell the machine what we want to cut and so I'm going to hit my little remove here this icon here the erase that's where you're actually physically erasing um, areas and then this remove icon here is when you just click on the areas that you want to remove so I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna click the areas that I want to remove so you see in this upper left hand corner this icon here this is showing the part that's black that's what the Cricut is going to cut out and so this is the image that I want so far and then I also want to cut out this little window here as well so I'm gonna click that so now you see that this is what's gonna be our little cut image and so I'm gonna so I'm done with that. I am going to, oops, I'm going to save it. I figure out where my save icon did. Oops. All right. And so now we have either save as cut image or save as print then cut image. I want to save it as a cut image. And I'm just going to do back truck. And then I'm going to click save. And now it is part of my library. Um, I've already done this one before. Now I'm gonna click cancel, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hit upload, select from photo library. I'm gonna click on the truck again. But now I want to do, um, to be able, able to layer my pieces. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna use my remove icon again. And I'm gonna remove the outsides of the images again. But then I'm also going to click on this little gray bar here of the truck I'm gonna click on that so then now I have the top of the truck and I have the wheels because I want to be able to cut those images out separately and I'm gonna cut this little yellow piece on the side here and this yellow yellow piece on the side and I think I'm going to do the little headlights as well all right so now I have the image of the truck and I have the wheels and so I'm going to click next and then I'm just going to hit back truck and call this number two and I'm going to save all right so now I have my whole black truck and then I have um, the truck with the wheels and the headlights out I'm going to hit cancel and go back up to upload select from photo library click on the truck again and so now I'm gonna do same thing I did before creating the cutting out the outside but now I'm going to remove the wheels and then I'm gonna remove the truck itself the window and then also the truck emblem now you see I still have these little lines here that outline everything. So that's where the erase portion comes in. I'm going to click on my erase and then I'm going to select my eraser size because I don't want it too big. And I'm going to start erasing all those little lines. I mean you could bring it so you can um, zoom in and make the... Um, picture bigger so you can go ahead and click on the line but I'm just gonna do it this way and if you do make mistakes you are able to go back
All right, so mind you, I do have my little image right here in the corner so I can see if there's any pieces that I am missing that I still need to erase. And went a little bit over, so I'm going to go to my undo and then do that part again. Oops. All right, so I have my little side pieces of the truck, I have my headlight pieces, and I have my little back bumper, and I'm gonna hit next, and I'm going to save that. So there's the little pieces that I should have cleaned up a little bit, but we can trim that with a scissor, so it's okay. And I'm just gonna name this back truck, oops, back truck three. All right, so now I have my whole entire image. I have the truck itself and the wheels, and then I have the other accessory pieces all separate. Now, previously, I've already had it in my um, saved files of this memory decks card here. And again, you can find this on Google. All you got to do is click on it, download it, and then it'll save into your computer's library, and then you'll just upload it like I showed you with the truck. And so I'm going to add this one my truck and we're just gonna do the truck base and wheels and this as well so now I have all these four pieces and I'm gonna insert it into my design space so now I'm gonna zoom out so we can see all of our pieces so we have this one this one this one and our memory decks so I'm going to actually make this bigger just so that you guys can see. <clears throat> now when it comes to the Cricut Joy, it automatically knows how big of a space you have for cutting. And you see this little icon here where it says layers? This little uh, sign here is saying that our image is too big for the cutting mat. Now you really wouldn't have to worry about that if you were doing doing this on a regular Cricut Explorer Air 2 or the um, Cricut Maker. But as far as the Cricut Joy, we have to make sure that we um, size it so it'll fit on the mat. But as far as tweaking and playing with it and get everything put together, we don't have to do that right now. So next what we're going to do is we're just going to put these pieces to the side. And we're going to focus on the memory decks here. I'm going to my image. Oops, not the image. Sorry. I'm going to my shapes. And I'm just going to grab a square. And here is my little square here. I'm going to enlarge this. Unlock it so I can shape it the way I want to. I'm going to enlarge it because I don't want this whole thing of my memory decks. So I'm going to enlarge it enough so it's going to cover at least part of it. I don't want to take the whole entire part of the memory decks. And I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to go into my actions down right here. And I'm going to hit slice. So now you can see the outline portion within the rectangle that I created. If I just take this black piece here, now all I have is this black piece and that's all I want. So I can go ahead and highlight that and I can delete it by hitting the X. So now we don't need that anymore. So now I have this piece and I want to attach it. I want to attach my truck to the memory decks here. Now, if you have this die, which I do as well, you can go ahead and cut this die out, create the base portion with your um, paper trimmer. If you have the Heidi Swap memory decks cut um, punch, you can go ahead and create that and attach the pieces together. I'm just showing you the uh, how to create it in a clean way, so then you don't have to worry about knowing where the start and end is of the memory decks is all in one piece together. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up. And nice, the good thing about this is that that line that appears, that lets me know that I am centered with my object here. And so, oops. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to put it just right on top there. Now I'm going to highlight the whole entire thing and I'm going to click Weld. Which is, actually, which is under your actions button. And now when I click on it, it's all together. So what we're doing is we're creating this piece here that's gonna go on top. And then this piece will go on top of these places here. But the thing is when you are 
even though I have it enlarged now, I need to scale it to size so it'll fit onto my cutting mat. So I'm gonna highlight everything and I'm going to just slowly bring it in and you can like match it up with your numbers on the side here. I have it like zoomed in pretty far. So I'm zooming out just so we can be able to see everything, but we can pay attention to the little layers icon. And once this little um, icon here is deleted or is gone, we know that we are within cutting space. Now we have everything that we need. Now, but I do want to separate these pieces because I want to be able to cut different colors with it. So the same thing that we did with cr cutting down the memory decks here, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go to shapes and grab a square. I'm going to unlock it. And then I'm just going to make a small little piece here and then go over just the wheels. My, oops. Yep. Highlight the whole thing. Go to actions and I'm going to slice. So now I have this piece, I have these two wheel pieces, and I have these. So I'm going to delete this. So now I can be able to move this around and put it on, put together wherever I need it to. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing to this shape here. So grab a square, unlock. Highlight, ink, and highlight, actions, slice. So now I have that part. And then we're going to do it again. Oops. Alright, so now I have all my pieces separated that I wanted to be separate. And so I have my little headlights, I have my wheels, I have my little, I'm guessing those are the side mirrors, and then I have my little bumper piece. So then when I go ahead and create it, or print it, or cut it out, <laughs> excuse me, cut it out on my Cricut, then I can go ahead and group where I need it, and then also know where to place my papers for it to cut. So now I am going to get all my stuff set up with my Cricut machine and I'll be back. All right, so now that I, I had to do some resizing because I realized it was a little too big. So I believe I have it the size I need it now. So now, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I don't want to worry about everything right now. I just really wanna worry about my base of my memory decks and I'm gonna be cutting this out in a few layers just so it holds some more stability. I could cut it on um, 110 pound cardstock, but I'm running low on it right now of the color that I want to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and do 65 pound cardstock, but yet I'm going to cut it out a few times. So I'm going to go down here to my layers button. Actually, I'm going to highlight, move this, and I'm going to highlight the rest of this here. And then I'm going to hit the layers. And because I have it highlighted, you see this little eyeball right here? I'm going to click on that. So that way you can't see it, the system doesn't see it, the mat doesn't see it. So now it's only going to factor in this portion here. So I'm going to click make it. I'm going to hit on mat. So now it has me set up on my 4.5 by 6.5 mat here. And then I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm, it's going to connect with the joy. I'm going to hit connect. <laughs> So it's, <clears throat> it's successfully connected. And then I'm going to hit insert cardstock. Okay, so I have my piece already cut. And it's a little bit longer, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to place it on my cutting mat. Smooth that down. And while it's blink while my machine is blinking, I'm going to go ahead and insert my mat. All 
right, so on my tablet, I'm going to hit unload and pull it off so it looks like this. I'm pull out my base piece here. And here is my first base, first layer of the memory deck space. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the bases printed. Okay, so now that I have all my pieces cut, I'm gonna hit finish. And I'm gonna go back to my canvas because I'm going to now go back to my layers and all those pieces that I had hid. Oops. I'm going to unhide them. And then that memory deck space that one I am going to hide there so now I have my other pieces and I'm going to do these two here in the same color actually I'm gonna do the headlights here as well the same color this will be in black my wheels and then this will be one color here so I'm gonna hit oops go back to canvas <laughs> hit make it on matte and let's see here actually you know what let's go ahead and hide this one too let's hide yeah let's hide that one or you know what I probably could let's see how much room I have yeah I could go ahead and cut everything to fit onto one mat so if I move this down I'm gonna move this down and kind of just keep this one right here so I know where I need to cut my pieces. Okay, so now I have all my papers ready. I'm gonna hit continue. Just like I did before get everything inserted all right so now all my pieces are cut and we can go ahead and put this to the side and start working on putting it together. So when getting this all ready, I realized that I forgot to cut out my center little window piece here that I have on here onto my top layer. So I had to um, do all the steps from the very beginning like I did before with erasing the outside of the truck and everything just so I can get this window opening. So don't do the boo-boo I did. All right. So here are our base pieces, here are our accessory pieces, and then um, the top layer there. I'm going to use my Barely Arts glue, and I'm just going to start gluing everything together.
so there you have it and then I'm probably going to cut these pieces out again and do like glitter cardstock or add um, glitter glue on there and um, probably put a little saying maybe tuck in a tree or something like that but that is just pretty much the base of my shaped truck memory decks card and then you know on my Instagram I'll show photos later of how I got it all jazzed up and everything but that's pretty much the basis I know the video is a little eh, it's my first time trying to do a tutorial on my you know doing it with the cricket and stuff so I promise you the videos will be better after that but I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it helped if you have questions feel free to ask if you would like another video of something a little more simpler on how to um, weld the pieces together to make a memory deck or something like that leave a comment down below and thank you so much guys um, again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to see more videos from me and until next time I'll see you guys later bye mm -hmm.